The All Progressives Congress, Nigeria's main opposition party, has alleged that the People's Democratic Party, in collusion with security agencies, intends to replicate the strategy allegedly used in the June 2014 governorship election in Ikita State to manipulate the forthcoming general elections. At a news, uh, at a press conference actually in Lagos Monday, the National Publicity Secretary of the APC, Lai Mohammed, said the PDP-led gov gov the PDP-led Good Luck Jonathan administration had planned to manipulate the elections using what the party calls "quote modified AKT rigging strategy." In view of the global outcry over the issue of shame. There is a plan to slightly modify it for Saturday's election. Hence, what we have now termed the modify equity leaking strategy. Since indications are that the military is no longer willing to be used for such an illegal act, and other security agencies know they will be under the searchlight on election day, those who are averse to a free, fair, credible and violence free polls have simply come up with a plan to sew military and police uniforms for their party thugs to wear on election day so they can rig the elections for the PDP. A large number of uniformed personnel on election day will be, will be those donning fake uniforms and ranks and their mandate will be to rig for the PDP and the rise opposition members and supporters. They have also mobilized ethnic militias across the country, MASOP in the Southeast, OPs in the Southwest, and ex militants in the Niger Delta. Mobilized under the pretext of a 9 billion Naira pipeline contract, the marching order given to the ethnic militias is to destabilize the election in their respective regions, thus rendering it inconclusive. After all, the PDP knows it cannot win a free, fair, and peaceful election. The highly disruptive and armed protest by the OPC in Lagos last Monday was just a just rehearsal for the plot. Also, thugs have been trained in several southwestern states, particularly Ondeo and Ogun states, to disrupt the coming elections. In Ondo state, training was organized by the PDP new leadership in the Ilaje Okitipopa zone. These thugs, numbering about 300, were given two weeks training in weapons used under a commander stroke president called Miti. They have now been moved in 12 buses to join the Ogun State Group from where they will be dispersed to other states in the southwest with arms. For the northern parts of the country, the plot is to deploy the special forces who were trained in Belarus to the liberated territories in the northeast, ostensibly to hold the liberated territories but in reality, to rig elections for the PDP. Also, don't forget, the Vice President Namadi Sambo has met with security chiefs in Kaduna with a request that they must deliver 2 million votes to the PDP, anyhow, with promises of mouth-watering incentives, in, which include cash and promotion. Gentlemen, the IGP, and the service chiefs are also part of the plot. You will recall the unlawful warning issued by the IGP, urging voters to cast their ballot and immediately leave the polling booths. A similar order is expected any day from now to be issued by the Chief of Army staff ahead of the elections. <laughs>